Hey guys, today we'll be discussing if CGPA in college matters at all. Short answer, it does matter a lot. And I know uh, most of you might be like, a piece of paper cannot decide my future and uh, you know, just, just my academic performance cannot decide who I'll become in the future. But in all honesty, most colleges just care about CGPAs or the internships that you get, the placements that you sit for, a lot of them would be having CGPA criteria. And also the respect that you get in college is also usually attached to the CGPA that you have, uh, which is unfortunate, but that's how most colleges function. Uh, today, in today's video, I'll just be telling you about um, what the CGPA situation is in most colleges, how does it impact the opportunities that you get and also if you're someone who has a lower CGPA then how can you cope up, how can you avail a lot of opportunities and stay ahead of the race. Here's the thing, uh, for most college students, at least like 99% of the college students, at the end of the college they want a good job, they want something that pays them well, right? That's what most people want in life. Now. In reality, uh, at least in uh, in terms of what BITS does, in terms of what BITS Pilani does, um, most of the opportunities that you get, so it could be a summer internships, it could be a practice school one, it could be a practice school two, which are also similar to internships, it could be your placements, a lot of them have something called the CGPA cutoff. So in order to enter these companies, you need to cross a certain CGPA. And usually it's 7, 7.5 and in rare cases it's 8. So if you want to consider, if you want to know about what the safe CGPA is, then at least in my college it's 8. Your college might have a different CGPA cutoff. So just make sure that you're above that particular cutoff and uh, so that you can sit for as many companies as possible and uh, avail as many opportunities as possible. Now, you know, whenever you aim to become a topper, whenever you try to get that 10 CGPA or that 9.99 .99 CGPA, what happens is you have to compromise on a lot of other things like extracurriculars, the projects you're working on, your, uh, ex your you know, uh, skills that you're learning on the site, you have to compromise on a lot of things. So I would say do not aim to become the topper topper guy, uh, try just crossing, try having a decent CGPA and at the same time try building a lot of things on the side so that you can actually become a valuable asset to a company. Now, one of the reasons why you should be having a decent enough CGPA is because it increases your risk appetite, right? Because ultimately, when you have a decent enough CGPA and if you're if you're sort of guaranteed a job after your college, then you can take a lot of, lot of risk. Maybe you can try starting your own company. Maybe you can try start working for a high growth startup, which has a chance of failure, but you want to be involved in, that, in its growth. You can do, take risks like that, right? You can convince your parents saying that, hey, I'm going to take a huge risk. I'm going to maybe start a business but if it doesn't work out, I can come back and do a job any day. So it gives you uh, this risk appetite and I think that risk appetite is super important. If you were to compare CGPA to skills, then I would always say skills is what's gonna get you there. Like if you're a full stack developer, if you're a Mern stack developer and you can just build products ASAP, then no startup, no company is gonna care about your CGPA, they'll straight up hire you because you're a valuable asset to that company. You can contribute a lot to a particular company's product roadmap, to a particular company's growth. And that's what companies want, right? Companies at the end want profits. Companies at the end want maximum utility out of you. And if you can provide that, if you're someone who can help that company accelerate their growth journey, then CGPA just doesn't matter. I have so many of my friends who are working full time while doing college uh, at some of the best companies out there because that company felt that this person is great and India has a shortage of talent. So if they're able to find, if they're able to spot some really good talent, they'll hire you and pay you really, really high. So uh, I would say focus on skills, have a CGPA that's decent enough to get you a job in case nothing works out. And ultimately uh, it's how valuable, it's how how much value you're adding to the world that matters, right? So if you're someone uh, who's maybe building the next SpaceX or Tesla, that's the value that ultimately matters and not uh, your CGPA. But with that said, most colleges have CGPA cutoffs. Uh, you know, the problem with India is that the population is so much that we have a lot of these quantitative measures of seeing how people are good at something. Like for example, J.E. Mains. So many lakhs of people give JE means. Why can't they have something like the US application process where they take into consideration what, what your extracurriculars are, how are you as a person, how social 
uh, how, are you socially responsible? Have you worked for an NGO? Why don't they, why don't they take into consideration things like that? The reason is because India doesn't have time. India doesn't have the resources to scan two lakh applicants and see you know how uh, how they are as an individual, and that's why they have standardized tests like. Uh, you know, J mains or BitSat so that they can screen out people through numbers and then get uh, get them on board. So similar for all entrance exams, similar for you know companies that are hiring. A lot of them would have screening tests on HackerRank so that they can see who's decent at TSA and then uh, take the interview process forward. So uh, that's how hiring works. Uh, I think India as a country, since its population is so much, has some hiring uh, inefficiencies, but. Yeah, that's how that's how the world is. We can't change it ASAP. But hopefully, you guys would uh, go out there and probably tell everyone that hey, skills matter more than CGPA. So uh, take that into account. Uh, and to be honest, if you're someone who's putting out content, if you're someone who's writing code, and if you're telling the world about what projects you're working on, then getting opportunities shouldn't be hard for you. You'll have a lot of companies reach out to you. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say. Try building a personal brand and secondly, try telling the world what you're good at. You're good at graphic design, tell them about it. If you're good at coding, show them your projects and build cool products. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you a bit and if it did then um, yeah, do like it and join our community. It's one of India's smartest and most productive student communities ever. We have students from across 2,500 colleges. So if you are someone who wants to meet like-minded coders, if you are someone who meets, wants to meet like-minded marketers and uh, salespeople and uh, you know designers, then do join in. Uh, I'll see you in the community. We'll see. I'll see you in one of the meetups over there. Take care. Bye.